I'm about to learn y'all how to make a deer fricassee out of them leftovers, AKA deer stew. I got that old forearm meat and I got that old rib meat. And I ain't talking to the one out there saying, oh, I eat everything off the deer. I even eat the eyeballs. And I ain't talking to you. I'm talking about them, them guys you know that go to deer camp, they cut the hind quarters off, take the back scraps out, cut the front shoulders out, and just throw everything away. They leave the beautiful neck roast and all this meat. I'm about to show y'all what we're going to do with it because we're going to make it money, dude. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my time and I'm going to start deboning all this. Can't believe people throw the beautiful meat away. Then they wonder why they kill a 150 pound deer and only get 20 pounds of meat. Cause you throw the rest away, Couillon. That's why. Pretty that is. Get it all. Then you can take this and, and ball this up and give it to your dog if you want to. On these ribs i'll get all the meat out the inside of them and then i'm gonna go back around and i'm gonna trim all the edges off it might not seem like much but uh this is the best eating right here man look at these little deer fingers right here look how pretty that is yes sir and we're gonna keep it we're gonna clean them all up takes time you did the time kill an animal do its respect and get all the meat you can off of it we're even gonna get the meat off the back side they real look at that right there people throw this away look how much meat that is pretty that is all this is coming off some people say well i don't know how to cook that i don't know what to do with that that's why i'm about to learn you what to do with it good eating that's what we're about to do Look at that. Look how pretty that come out. Look. That look like a slab of bacon, dude. That's beautiful. So we're going to sit here. I'm going to debone the rest of this. And then I'm going to bring y'all back. So I'm done deboning. I left enough meat on here to piss the buzzards off, dude. Look at all the meat I got off of one side of ribs and one forearm. That's pretty good, dude. Let's cook a stew. My camera girls in school, my daughter. But anyway, we're gonna try to make it work because uh, the videos must go on. Let's start with that root. Two sticks of butter. Melt that down. And we're gonna hydrate. Mm -mm. Now, as we're melting that down, two sticks of butter, one cup of flour. And we're gonna put that flour in slowly, slowly, slowly. And we're gonna make us a beautiful roux. And we're gonna cook us a beautiful stew. Or like we say, a freak I say. With all that old wasted deer meat, that stuff y'all throw. We got that melting down, we're gonna add just a little bit of flour. Start with that. Keep stirring. Make you a nice pretty roux. This is where it all starts. You burn this, McDonald's for supper, dude. A pot of meat sandwiches. I like a pot of meat sandwich though. Tree bread. Oh yeah, she looking nice now. No more flour. Oh yeah. I don't know, can y'all see in there? I can't get the the camera can't move. It can't come see. Oh yeah, we got us a pretty root on. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. We're gonna hit it with the rest. Gonna get in with that rest. Oh yeah. Now we got that root. Look at that. It's looking pretty. I don't know if y'all can see in there. I don't know, but it's looking pretty. Oh, that's gonna be hot, but I don't want y'all to see it. Oh yeah. Pretty. Pretty. All right. We got the root like we like it. It's in pretty brown root. Oh yeah, time to hit it with the Holy Trinity plus the garlic, that's the pulp. Holy Trinity, onions, bell pepper, 
celery. Quit asking what the Holy Trinity is. I'll still tell you if you ask. Now we're gonna saute that down. Nice. Very nice. Boy, oh, it smells so good. Them onions. That holy trinity, that beautiful garlic. Now as them onions and all the sweat down, we're gonna add that beautiful deer meat to that. We're gonna brown that really good. It's a lot. Making a big old, a big old fricassee, dude. Get that right there. Hook, hook, hook. Hit it with the two step. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah. That. The little Bertons, bad Bertons W sauce. Give it a little thick, rich, bold flavor. Seems like I'm always running out of that stuff. It's good. But oh, pepper exchange hit me up with the old half gallon of, the, of that cayenne puree. That's gonna make it a pretty color and give it a little bit of spice. Now we're just gonna let this, we're gonna let this marinate, smother down before we hit it with that beautiful beef broth, dude. So let this cook down. Give me a little more fire. There it is. We're gonna brown this down nice. Making something out of what most people let the coyotes eat, dude. And I just broke my dang paddle. Half a paddle, man. Maybe I shouldn't be so rough. Maybe I should make a better paddle. All right, we got this looking fire, dude. Look at this. It is beautiful. It's a nice, beautiful color. It's brown. Time to hit it with that homemade beef broth. All right, we got that to a rolling ball. We're gonna lower the fire very low. We're gonna cover it. It's gonna take about two hours. People ask, how you season your black iron pots? Man, that's easy. I just season them, dude. And while we wait, huh, we gonna hydrate. Now that meat is getting tender, dude. It's time to move to the next step. Them potatoes, them carrots. Gonna put that in there. Look at the bottom. Them champignons. That is mushroom champignons. Gonna put that in there. About 30 more minutes. And we're gonna be putting that on some rice, dude. Look how pretty. Oh, man, man, man. Look how pretty that meat is. Tender, 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 dude. I'm telling you. Oh, four meat tender. Mm -mm. Throw that back in. Nice, right, ready to serve, dude. Look how pretty it come out. You got the potatoes, you got that beautiful champignon. Got them carrots. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this. Look at that nice. There's only one thing left to do. Look how pretty that is. We're going to put that on a cracker, dude. Mmm. -hmm. That's money, dude.